I'm speaking with Nathan Eide of uh, HockeyWilderness.com. Uh, Nathan, tell me, uh, tell me how you started blogging, first of all. Sure. Going back to the first um, blog. So it was probably 1997 or 8. Okay. Sounds about right. Um, live Journal. Live Journal, all right. So that scene in the beginning with um, the scene in the beginning of the social network right. with uh, Mark Zuckerberg and he was creating the code for the face for face mash and doing the live journaling at the same time that would be me except it would be probably playing metal gear solid <laughs> or making dinner okay. and i would get to a part and then blog about that part or blog about a game that i was watching <laughs> so it was basically food sports and video games right. at that time kind of dominated my life uh -huh. so it makes sense okay so so why did you why did you start blogging why it's an interesting question. Um, I think it was probably I had stuff to say and wanted a place to say it. Right. Um, I was a political science major at that time, and so I was, you know, the typical angry young man full of salt and vinegar. <laughs> um, later found out that really wasn't my calling, but um, that was that was my background. So I wanted to I wanted to kind of get my voice out there and, and talk about what I was doing, talk about my internship in the state senate, talk about you know kind of my life. And I wasn't really looking to make a name. I wasn't really looking to do anything with it. I was looking to just have a place to vent. Right. Without, I want a catharsis. Right. For it to be therapeutic. Right. 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 Okay. So how'd you um, how'd you come to hockey world? Um, so start of the 2006-2007 season, Hockey Wilderness kind of got kicked off. Um, hockey Wilderness is actually property of a uh, sports blog nation or sbnation.com. I'm sorry, let me interrupt. Hockey Wilderness is the Minnesota Wild blog. Yes, it's a blog about the Minnesota Wild. It's the Minnesota Wild fan community. I think that's the way we're, we're positioning it. Um, it started as uh, something called In the State of Hockey. Later we got a C and D for that saying that it was owned property uh, or a, a registered trademark of the Minnesota Wild. So we had to remove that name and change it to Hockey Wilderness. All right. But it was, it was the property of SB Nation. SB Nation is the brainchild of Tyler Blazinski and uh, Marcos Melitsis. Okay, interesting. So they started, they started a while back. They're both diehard you know, Oakland A's fans. And they wanted a place to rant and vent about the A's. Uh -huh. So they started this and they thought, well, this could be really cool. This could be the kind of place where people want to come and congregate and talk about the game because people like to talk about sports. Uh -huh. This would be a good place to do that. Moved down the road five, six years. Now we have every single professional team in the United States covered as well as golf, mixed martial arts, almost every call uh, D1 college football and basketball program, um, Major League Soccer, every team, a few teams in European soccer, um, NASCAR, I think there might even be open wheel, IndyCar, wow. and Formula One, so we kind of cover the gamut. We have relationships, the, the, the network has relationships with Yahoo, SI.com, CNN, um, we have a relationship with NHL.com where our stuff can show up on NHL.com, okay. okay. as well as uh, the USA Today. Okay. So we've got, we, we work really well with the traditional mainstream media, but it's all providing from the fan perspective. Right, right. So what's your uh, what's your role at Hockey Wilderness? I'm the managing editor. Okay. So I handle the logistics, the day-to-day -day operations, um, put together an editorial calendar, work with my uh, main lead editor and, and lead author, Brian Reynolds, um, who also um, is an assistant editor of the SB Nation Minnesota hub, which covers kind of all, it's an aggregator for all Minnesota sports. Um, and so he and I do most of the most of the content, posting day to day, uh, covering the game. And this is actually the first year that we've been a credential member of the press. Okay. So we get access to the press box, watch the game from the box, um, access to the team during practices and the post game um, interviews. So it's really cool because in this day of the battle between the blogger and the mainstream media journalist, you know, we don't really have that here. Right. Uh, 
the NHL is a little different story than a lot of traditional uh, than a lot of the battles in the other in the other sports uh -huh. because the NHL frankly is an underserved market by the media. We're lucky here in that we have um, Michael Russo, who's a fabulous beat writer, okay. and he's also oh, active no, on Twitter. He's active with his with his blogs, so he he kind of helps merge the worlds. Um, and then we've been working with the media relations department at the Wild over the last couple of years to open up the possibility. Mm -hmm. And they've been following our, our coverage and they see us not as a traditional competitor with the mainstream media, um, but we provide <laughs> rational, thought out content from a fan perspective. So there's no, we make no bones about it. We're fans of the Minnesota Wild. We want the team to win. We want the team to succeed. We want the team to do well. But we want to cover it rationally. We want to talk about things from a perspective of a knowledgeable hockey fan, uh -huh. not a blinding homer or somebody who is unbelievably pessimistic. Right? We, we want to be rational, we want to be real, and provide quality content because now that we are credentialed, we do have um, a different expectation. It's not so much that we have to be fair and unbiased, but we have to be accurate. That's the big thing, and that's what we talked with the, with the media relations department about, is accuracy. If we say that somebody had a great game, that's one thing. If we say that they had a terrible game and we're right, that's an entirely different situation. It's not that you have to be you know, yep. toe the company line, um, but it, it's it's nice because you're able to, to uh, it's, Brian and I, we watch the games from the box and we kind of look around and, and every once in a while it just hits us that we're just doing this for fun. Uh huh. It's uh -huh. not a job. It's, it, these guys are here, guys and, and, and gals are here because they, this is their job, this is their livelihood. Yeah. We're there because it's fun. We enjoy covering the team. It's a professional working environment. We don't cheer during the games or anything. Um, sometimes it'd be nice to be able to watch a game and yell and have a beer, but you take the you take the positives sure, and the negatives. Sure. That's awesome. But the nice thing is, is that you know we're there, enjoying ourselves, and it just kind of gives us that much more credibility. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what's the uh, What's the biggest surprise you've had from doing from your experience with, uh, as a hockey blogger? The journalist? amount of stuff people want to give you <laughs> to talk about. Um, so, hockey's a little different. We don't have the five million page views every couple months that an NFL blog can get. We're, we have a smaller market. It's a, it's a, you know, they like to say it's a niche sport. But we get enough traffic that people still want me to do reviews on things and want our staff to give away products and you know put in links and mention mention their their products to help backlink SEO, that kind of thing. But I was <laughs> so I've been offered in the last couple of weeks two what I consider rather strange requests is that they're hockey specific supplements. <laughs> so one of the posts I did was a review on it about I I, I took it before the game because I figured I'm gonna take the supplements and see what happens if I start twitching or anything. And then during the game, I actually wrote a post about each ingredient. So I went through, I read the entire ingredient list, I researched each ingredient that went into it to try to figure out what was in it. And um, basically, it was about 3,000% of your daily uh, vitamin B complex uh, requirements and a bunch of tea extracts. Wow. But it was there to uh, Im what they say to improve um, improve your mental acuity and reaction time. So it was well, that's pretty sharp. I mean, it probably helped you because I mean you did all that. You know, you know, <laughs> I, I, I've never typed faster, <laughs> and I was able to remember what I what I had written previously, uh -huh. which does come in handy because every once in a while you you write your game notes in a in Notepad or something, and then you want to copy it over, and you realize that you cut you cut and pasted and then deleted because your formatting was off uh -huh. instead of copy and paste uh -huh. so it adds another half hour to the end of your day <laughs> and if I could make a recommendation to the NHL uh -huh. if we could just get the wild moved out of the Northwest division because writing a game recap at 1 a.m. after a you know, oh, Tuesday course. night Vancouver game yep. is not optimal for my day job uh -huh. 
Which is? Uh, which is I'm the social media manager at Deluxe Corporation. Okay, very cool. So we, if you're looking for us on Twitter, it's twitter.com slash Deluxe Corp. We have a uh, series of products and services to help small business owners um, kind of help themselves with marketing, as well as our traditional financial services offerings, which are checks and um, and products for our banking partners. And you've got a you, you blog for, uh, yep, for so Deluxe as well. Yes, at Deluxe Small Biz Blog, so B I Z Blog dot com. We have we, we talk about online marketing. We actually just went through a refresh this week. As of Monday, we have a brand new design. So we were looking for feedback on the on the design work. Um, but we talk about small business online marketing. Excellent. Anything from search, social, email. Okay. Um, what tips would you give someone who uh, is starting out blog? Right, 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 right. It really is just, it's that simple. It's write and read people who you who you like their style. Um, don't copy their style, but the more quality writers that you read, the better writer you will become. You'll have a better uh, understanding of the English language. Uh -huh. And one thing that annoys me is that a lot of newspapers today are actually downgrading to being written at a 6th and 7th grade level. It used to be 8th and ninth grade, 10th grade level. Uh -huh. um, that annoys me because we prefer to write, even if we're writing about hockey, we try to write as adults. Exactly. Complete sentences, complete thoughts. Don't end sentences with uh, prepositions. So that's that's kind of where we're trying to go with our, our style. Right. Um, but that I think that's really important. Something that's getting lost in today's attention span deficit world. Uh -huh. um, so the places that people can find you: hockeywilderness.com, hockeywilderness.com, uh, nathanid.com, n-a-t-h-a-n-e-i-d-e.com, um, deluxe smallbizblog.com, and on Twitter it's nathanid or hockey wilderness with one S because we ran out of letters. <laughs> Thank you so much for taking the time to talk. No problem. Thanks, David.